recipe for cur a la creme, which is one of my favorite cheese recipes. It uses con uh, confectioner sugar and cream cheese, and it's really yummy. So in my mixing bowl, I have 12 ounces of cream cheese. It's at room temperature. That's very important that it's nice and soft. And I have one and a half cups of confectioner sugar. And I'm going to use the paddle attachment and mix this a little bit till it's all creamy. Start your mixer off slow, and that way you won't be wearing the confectioner sugar. And then once it's mixed, okay, I'm going to just change attachments, scrape everything off. You don't want to leave anything behind. And I'm going to be putting on the whisk attachment. And then I'm going to add some heavy cream. Some vanilla. Let's get this all off. All right, that's good enough. Put that over here. So what I'm going to add now is two and a half cups of cold, heavy cream. Don't skimp on the cream. Don't use half and half. Don't just put the heavy cream in there. You'll be glad you did. And then two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Get real vanilla extract, it makes a huge difference. And a capful, at least in my world, is a teaspoon. So one, two, that goes in. And then I'm gonna do a quarter of a teaspoon of fresh lemon zest. So I have my lemon here. I'm gonna use my microplane. You just wanna do it just so you get the yellow part off the lemon. So now it's time, I've added the vanilla, the lemon, and now it's time to add some fresh vanilla bean seeds. So this is a vanilla bean, it comes like this. I just cut a portion off because I don't need all of it. And you slice down the middle and you'll see, like it's hard to see, but this is all really wonderful. The little vanilla seeds that you see in ice cream. So I cut this down the middle and you want to scrape it to get all those seeds out. Use the back side of my knife. And you can be more generous with this if you want. The vanilla beans, I have to warn you, they are fairly expensive. So I'm, I'm being a little skimpy here, but the flavor is still going to be amazing. And I don't throw this away now. Um, I will put this in a little bowl of sugar with a lid on top, like a piece of plastic ware, and it will give the sugar a nice vanilla flavor, and you'd use that in desserts and so on. So don't throw this away. This is, like, you can use this in other ways. Okay, everything's in there. I'm gonna scrape it down, and then we're going to whisk. Okay, I have to beat this until it's very thick, so this is gonna take a little bit of time um, because you know if you whip heavy cream, it will turn into whipped cream, so you want it pretty thick. So I'm just gonna let this rip for a little while. All right, well, I think that seems good. Okay, you can see it's thick. Let me taste it. Oh, God, I could eat that just like that. Mm, it's delicious. Oh, yummy. I'm not throwing this away either. That's for later. Okay, so now we go from here is, this is what makes this all a lot more special than what it appears right now. I have a dish that's made for this curve a la creme, and it's a dish that has holes in the bottom. This is ceramic, so it has holes. It's a cute little heart shape. I would imagine they come in other shapes. So you want to line this with some cheesecloth. We're going to put our mixture in here. We're going to close up the cheesecloth, and we're going to let it sit overnight. All the liquids are going to drain out, 
But if you don't have this, what I have done, and it works perfectly well, is you must have one of these strainers at home or a sieve right here. You can do the exact same thing, line it with the cheesecloth, double layered, put your mixture in, close it up, put it over like a bowl because you want the liquid to be able to drain out the bottom. Okay, so if you don't have this, you can still do it, and it will come out like a pretty dome, and it will have all like the little uh, marks from here that is really pretty. So, you know, if you don't have this, don't worry, you can still do the same thing. So I'm going to put my mixture in the little heart mold. Oh, looks so good. And I'm going to serve this as just delicious with berries. I can see the little... Um, specks of the vanilla. Okay, so now I have enough for more than this mold, so I'll probably go to plan B with that one over there, and we'll have a big one and a little one. That works for me. This is great. You should, this is so delicious. So then I'm going to close this up, because you don't want air to get at it too much. So you just make it like a nice little package. There it is. It's all happy. And I have a little baking sheet lined with a rack, so the liquid's going to go in here. Don't forget to do that, or the liquid's going to be all over your refrigerator. Okay, so in it goes. And I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator overnight, and then when it's ready, we'll unmold it, and I'll show you how we serve it. So here I have the finished cur a la creme. So it's on a beautiful plate, and I'm going to peel the cheesecloth off, and look how cute that is like really adorable. So there's a lot of different ways to garnish this. This would be up to you. Um, Lee was kind and made a beautiful raspberry sauce. So maybe I'll put some raspberry sauce. I'm not artsy in this way. Maybe, I don't know, just around so everybody gets some. Not sure. Then you could have raspberries, but I didn't see any nice raspberries in the store, but I found some blackberries and blueberries, so maybe we'll do like a red, white, and blue thing. Just put some around. Maybe they don't need to be so perfect like that. Any fruit that you like, uh, any kind of sauce, any fruit, if you put it in a saucepan with some water and sugar and cook it down, um, you know, can be made into a sauce. So use what you like. You have the bait. I mean, this is gonna be absolutely delicious even all by itself. So. There is my cheese dessert, cur a la creme. Please try this.